Yeah, he makes the rest of us want to go home and practice. <laughs> <laughs> so when I built that thing, I like tried to play it, and I was like, I have no use for this thing. I, I couldn't sing to it. It's just a monster. And I was, I was like, I'm glad he wants this because I, I could never have any use for it. At first I thought, oh cool, I'll make one and maybe I'll make myself one. But then I was like, no, I'm not a baritone guy. Can we ask questions? You can ask questions. <laughs> so, is that a fish? What kind of pickup does Teja Gherkin request? There's been a couple in there. What's in there right now? Is it LR Bags? It's the LR Bags uh, uh, Anthem, which is a pickup and an internal mic. Cool. And it's combined to a preamp, which is standard mono output on there. Very cool. Teja's had to play with that a little bit too. I think he had to move the saddles a bit. And I've had, um, well, that's actually the third pickup that's in there. Yeah, I have. So, but this one works well. And he also had me, I don't know if you noticed, his, his headstock. There's a big hollow section in the center of the headstock. So it looks more like an M because of that. But also, he can adjust the truss rod anytime he wants with it because he's one of those guys that adjusts the truss rod. I think Ira and Kenny both came up with these M kind of Kenny designs. Kenny had nothing to do with it. No, he actually came to me with a different one. It was This is yours because it, it tries to get the string in line. Kenny's had more flair going up this way. He's like, you should make an M. So uh, I think one of my electrics has Kenny's M, but then all the rest of these Ira M's. But he has this big, he, we did this route right through the body. Right What's that? Do you have a tuner clip to the top? Yeah, you can't really see the shape with the, the tuner. Pick that up, just pull on it. All these new tuners. There we go. But you see this, this opening here? So he's, he's not a, before that, we had no idea what he Wow. I do that every show. It's like amazing. Don't you love an easily impressed crowd? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sing my little teapot now. You're probably going to be saying that. Uh, anyway, um. So, and part of the, the binding on that guitar is the same wood as Mo Mokai's size, right? Right, that's the other thing, because I was thinking I should bring Mokai up next. The next guy who challenged me, like, beyond my abilities when I had no abilities. So, can we hand this to you, Taya? So, Mokai goes, I want a seven string guitar. But you can't have my tuning. But then, no, it's silly. I put it on the side. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> So, I, I, it's funny too, because Mocha and I were talking a lot on the phone about it, and he came over, we were talking a lot. And there were a couple times when I, 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 Mocha left, and I was like, either he's a freaking musical genius, or he's stoned out of his ass right now. Both, both. I don't know what, what to make of what he just told me, you know? It might be brilliant, it might just be, he's so stoned, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But we discussed a lot of things, a lot of details. It took a long time to make it, right? Like, I think Taya's was like two years or three years? Three years, something like that. Yours was probably the same. It was apparently going to do three guitars. Taya wanted everybody to have a baritone. He was going to get one. Kwame was going to get one. But then Kwame wanted a semi-baritone, not quite as deep as his. Which I'm like, I don't even know what a baritone is. Now you want a semi-baritone? They're great. They're great. And then Mokai comes on with a seven string. And it took a while before he started if he wanted a seven on the bass string or on the treble string. And what scale we're going to do and everything. But we finally worked it out, and Mokai did some cool designing stuff. Like, he designed this bridge, which looks like a fish. Yeah. And the headstock, too, I think, was Mokai's yeah. design, which is really cool. Now, whoa. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. That's flamed maple. And again, that's what's... The, when I make this, the sides are way bigger, so I get to cut all this little extra stuff off the edge. And it was sitting there, and so was Taya's guitar, and I was like, ah, I should put this over there. I should, like... Let these have like brother brotherly guitars, so it turns sideways. So that yeah. wood on the side here, this binding is that got cut off of yeah. probably the surface over here on there. So it's the same so binding. Um, he got a beautiful Sitka top. It's not a piano top. It's a beautiful Sitka top. And I don't know what the hell to do with this thing either. I couldn't play it. It was like seven strings. What the hell do you do with that extra bass string? But he'll show you what he does with the extra bass string. Here's Mokai. Bring him up. So I refer to this uh, guitar as the uh, DeCio 7 string. The DeCio 7 string. The only one. It's the. Oh, you know what else, too? Turn it sideways right now. Oh, turn well, that's what, I, that's what I was going to mention next. No, there's something else I forgot to mention. Can you see the you difference? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Yeah, see how it's thinner here? Yeah. Here? Oh. 
So it's not my were, idea. Um, when we were talking about it, you know, I just found out tonight this whole thing that there was uh, a group of people who were asked to do this and uh, give Mario the money for the uh, wood and then tell him what you wanted. So I, I really, now that, now I feel kind of bad about it. I feel kind of, because I was like, yeah, I want a seven string with a wedge body. <laughs> and apparently when you do the wedge, um, it's a thing where you, uh, explain it Mario, it, it, it changes the whole ratio of how, what the size of the piece of wood in the back is. If it was just a square back, it's going to fit a certain way. Once you incline it, now it's a completely different rate, uh, ratio of how the, the, the piece yeah, of wood, the, the shape of the piece of wood. Yeah. So I'm really bad. I didn't. I really didn't know. What did I know about making guitars? Um, I, I'm going to plug in. Uh, You're free to do so. So we. Um, <laughs> hey, how about how about a hand for Ira and the Monkey House? Yeah. Do this at a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, it never, it never will happen. So when we, uh, anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing guitar and it sounds really good through my uh, Fishman amp. It, it just sounds, uh, it, it sounds really full and rich and balanced through the through the acoustic amp. We put a K and K. Uh, Active three. Uh, it's got three, three different piezo, sensors. Well, no, three, three, three transducer. Top, three transducers. <laughs> yeah. So what I wanted, I wanted this guitar. I wanted this guitar since the '80s. I tried to get it made uh, at the time, and the guy just couldn't didn't, couldn't come through. So uh, the idea is that it's a uh, the top six strings are like a six string, but then you have a, an extra bass below. So when I play a B, I have a low B. When I play an E, I got that low B. When I go to an A, I got a C sharp down below, and then I got a D. I get a D below the G, which is just, that's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a lot of us have, uh, songwriters, you know, we're, we're obsolete now due to, uh, due to uh, chat GP. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I've heard those songs. <laughs> but anyway, we've all been uh, kind of trying to cogitate, you know, as, as songwriters, it's hard on us. Because as times change and as society uh, evolves, we, we've got to try to like keep track of it and, and you know tabulate what's going on, you know, uh, preserve it in, in song. So we keep trying. Look at a world that's twisted like twine. Fate is opaque as a bottle of wine. Look at myself. Wandering in dismay What can I do? What can I say? Well, I wanted to give voice to my pain I wanted to explain Why it's not in vain I wanted to tell it So all could comprehend With no rationalizations I'd have to defend Well, distill the meaning point of our existence, but the closer I looked, the less it made sense, so it all got blurry, the harder I'd squint, I thought I had something to say, but I didn't, <laughs> I thought I'd write an expose to shine a light on the corruption, shame the profiteers and give them their comeuppance, I wanted to Give the lie to the myth of austerity and mm, synthesize our era for the sake of posterity. Publish a memoir that could stand the test of time. A warning message to those who come behind. I could mine some gold from the lessons I've learned. Provide a roadmap to replace. 
replace the ones we burn When time came to put pen to paper My mind went blank, I felt like an imposter When I tried to write something worthy of print I thought I had something to say But I didn't I'd write a novel so achingly poetic, revelatory and cathartic, stirring and prophetic. Ah, pause a soliloquy so stunning and loquacious. All oh, silly me, could I be so audacious? I could be a culture hero for the ages. Make the top ten list of sages Solve the unanswered questions Open everybody's eyes Reveal the secret to life And win the Nobel Prize <laughs> Well, I fired up my synapses Results were intermittent I thought I had something to say But I didn't So the greatest ballad ever written Remains unwritten I, I thought I had something to say <laughs> oh, I thought I had something to say, but I didn't. Yeah, really appreciate it, Mario. Love I love it. it. I love it. You and uh, Ted should make an album. Oh, I think yeah, you guys... we, we jam together sometimes. You should make an album. Let's just hear like similar By the way, I'm similar... playing uh, Winter's Tavern uh, next Wednesday. I'll be there. Yeah. yeah there you yeah. go. Good. What time? Uh, I'll probably start around 8 and go till like 11 until they kick me out. I can walk to it. That guitar comes with a bass player. <laughs> no other guitar comes with a bass player. We're going to take a really short, short break. Um, so we're going to flip the lights on, and i have got to see who's here, so I know who else to bring up to the stage. So maybe a five-minute break, and then we'll come back.